Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Sagittarius, I want to wish you guys all a very happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are staying safe. Um, for those of you guys that are interested in consultations or spell work, now is the time to reach out. We are opening calendar. It's almost felt like this whole year we've been completely booked. I think we've only opened once or twice calendar this year. Um, but we're opening up again, so if you guys are interested, now is the time to reach out. Also, for those of you guys that are new, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get notification. Also, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while, I've been hearing a lot of messages from a lot of you guys telling me that you guys are not getting updates of when the videos go up. Not sure if YouTube is shadow banding me. Not sure what's going on with that, but don't forget to hit the notification bell. All right, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of October 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Guide us in this reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please speak to us regarding their love life. What is unfolding for them? What is it that they need to know at this present time? Give us guidance, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge to all of our beautiful Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages? What are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? How have um, these uh, retrogrades been treating you guys? How is everything going? We have Saturn that recently went uh, direct, as well as Jupiter. We will get it. Uh, we will be getting Mercury going direct on the 18th of this month. So hopefully things are going a little bit back to normality for us. It's been fucking crazy. Our Wi-Fi went out for two days for some reason. They couldn't figure out why. Um, my emails have been just bonkers and it's been crazy. But anyways, let's get into your reading, Saggy. All right, your first card here is the Two of Swords with the Chariot card. Okay, I see you guys going towards someone or making a decision and not holding back. Funny that I happen to look at the bottom of the deck, your card. So I see you guys very confident. I see you guys aggressive in your pursuits when we're talking about love and romance. The next card here is the three of swords. Okay, so there is a missing or thinking of someone that you were dealing with in the past. Perhaps there was some type of hesitation or distance could have been involved here. It's almost like I'm sensing for a lot of you guys, there was a desire to show some type of affection, but you held back. If you can see here, we see a cat and um, our beautiful fur babies are usually, they come to us whenever they feel like they want to, right? It's almost like, yes, you had feelings or you do have emotions, but you didn't necessarily feel comfortable sharing or opening up. There could have been some frustration or some pent up aggression with the Three of Swords, I feel that you could have overstepped. Um, this could be you or this could be the partner that you're dealing with. But I feel like someone in this situation tested the other person's patience or tested their, their temper. And I feel like for a lot of you Sagittarians, it could be you the one that couldn't control your temper. And it's almost like you're acknowledging or understanding that you may have hurt their feelings. And there is a bit of regret there, but I do see you taking action. Um, it could be vice versa. It is a general reading. It could be them if they were the ones that offended you or that hurt your feelings. There is like a decision that is being made here. And it's like, I'm choosing to go after Sagittarius. I am no longer going to hold back or pretend or play it cool or pretend that I'm a cool cat, right? For some of you guys, this could even represent giving up the player tendencies. Because you've been hurt, because there is fear here that this person may not want you back anymore, Sagittarius. Let's see. Your next card here is the High Priestess, the Justice card, and the Moon card. Oh my goodness, Sagis. All right, so you guys have... Literally, you have four major arcanas. I feel that right now you're being tested. A lot of things that may have not gone your way are starting to go your way. But I feel that through this process, 
you're proactively choosing someone that has triggered you on a deeper level. I feel that this person may be either extremely spiritual or this person could be into the esoteric because we do have the moon and the high priestess here. These are very magical cards, you know, very powerful magic type of energy here. But I don't sense it in a negative aspect. I just feel that this person has really tested you or has shaken you or your beliefs. And it's like it's become so intriguing and so alluring that there is a fear of losing them. Now, you may be dealing with this situation where it was you, the one that put this person in a third party situation. Um, could be that you were dealing with someone that you were either in a committed relationship with or that you promised some type of commitment to the other person when you started dealing with this person that came along. Because the High Priestess and the Justice card is almost representing to me having to choose, right? There is this deep, almost knowing understanding that this person is meant to be in your life but the justice card can also be pulling you towards choosing or being around someone that you feel you are responsible for so you may be dealing with two people here for others of you it could just be a representation that your belief system or what you believe at in the core of you is being tested because this person may be the extreme opposite of who you are or what you believe in. And I feel that there's something that scares you in that connection. But also you feel the connection to such a degree. It's almost like you know that meeting this person or, or, or being around this person was not coincidence. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may have either pushed this person out or this person decided to walk away because... They're very intuitive and they can pick up on toxic traits. And you, my dear Sagittarius, may still be working through toxic behaviors. Um, ultimately, I do see you choosing to chase or choosing to not let go of this opportunity. I feel that by the end of this month, it's going to be very prominent for you. For those of you guys that are single, I definitely do see a person that's coming along. And this is a person that has been manifested uh, a person that you've been wanting to connect with on an emotional level. And it's like you are making the attraction happen. You're pulling them towards you. Um, and this is a connection that is bound or connected to many lifetimes ago. Um, we're not talking about a soulmate. We're talking about twin flame type of energy. Or we're talking about a person that you've been in committed relationships with through multiple past lives. So very strong and powerful. For some of you guys, you're deliberating or fighting, letting go of a person that is a person that is tied to your karmic past, meaning past lives, that you feel like you owe something to them or like you have to save them. And you're having to choose between that and choosing a soulmate that's coming into your life. So pay very close attention to that. For some of you guys, like I said, it could be a person that is extremely spiritual. For others of you, it could be a person that is of a different religion, a different uh, background, a different country, a uh, different belief system. I feel that they're the very contrast of you or the very opposite of you, but that's also what allures you to them. If you're dealing with a person like this, I'm going to be honest with you. Do whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that this person doesn't walk away. Because I feel that there could be a missed opportunity in this situation for others of you. If you are in a committed relationship and you feel like the connection you're dealing with is karmic, know and understand that that cycle should have been up a long time ago. I would fully encourage you to embrace this new beginning with this new person because I feel this person is going to be very prominent in your life um, should you choose to continue dealing with karmic energies. It's like a never ending cycle. Keep that in mind. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.